I remember reading one time that Jimmy Page said that he had played three solos on Stairway to Heaven on the original multitrack, and they're still there. Now, I've never heard the original multitrack to it, but I've always imagined what those other solos sound like, because I can't imagine any other solo other than the one that's there. Then I thought to myself, what would it sound like if someone else played over Stairway to Heaven instead of Jimmy Page? Like, what if Peter Frampton played the solo? Or Eddie Van Halen? Or if a modern guitarist like Eric Johnson played on Stairway to Heaven? So I thought, well, let's find out. So I came up with this idea. I'm going to retrack the solo section to Stairway to Heaven and then call up a couple of my buddies to see if they'd be interested in playing on it. Okay, I'm going to call Phil X right now. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Okay, so got a uh, idea for a video. I want to see if you want to be uh, be part of this. Sounds enticing. Okay, so check this out. I've recreated the solo section to Stairway to Heaven, and I want you to be Eddie Van Halen. Think of this as you're an actor, and you're going to be play the part of Eddie Van Halen. What if Eddie Van Halen had soloed over Stairway to Heaven instead of Jimmy Page? You're in, right? Um, you, you, when, when do you need this? Whenever. Whenever you have time. Because I want I to try and get my hands on a Frankenstrat, too. And I'm going to get a third person. I'm not sure who it's going to be yet. I'm going to reach out to a couple people. So I thought, well, why don't I just call Eric Johnson, see if he's into it. So I call him up. I explain the idea. I say that I'm going to be Peter Frampton. Phil is going to play the part of Eddie Van Halen, but Eric is going to be him. So he said, what do you mean? Like, what would I play? I said, yeah, if you were in Led Zeppelin and playing over Stairway to Heaven, what would you play? He says, okay. So the first thing I had to do is cut the solo section because I don't have the tracks of Stairway to Heaven and we can't play over that anyway. So I have to recreate the Stairway to Heaven solo section. And then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to play whatever the extra parts are. And I thought, well, what is there in Stairway to Heaven? So I listened to it and I think, okay, there's a 12 string part in it that's playing. And I, th and I thought, well, I don't have a double neck 12 string. So I called my buddy Dave Honorado and I said, Dave, do you have, what 12 string can I use in place of the one, the, the double neck 12 string for Stairway to Heaven? He goes, well, Jimmy Page didn't use that. He used the Fender 12 string. I said, really? Yeah. And I said, okay, so I go and I search for one and I find one. So I listened down to the track to see what instruments are actually in there. And I thought to myself, I've never really listened that closely to the solo section in Stairway to Heaven. I listened to the solo, but I never really paid attention to anything other than the drum part, right? I know there's a da da, there's that slide guitar in there, but I'm listening to the thing. I said, okay, here, I hear 12 string left, 12 string right. I think I hear an organ in there, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty sparse. So then I call up Ken, my assistant, and I said, I need you to come in to record this. I call Jack up, and I said, Jack, uh, we're going to record Stairway to Heaven, the solo section. He says, okay. Um, I need you to learn it exactly like Bonham played it. All the fills, everything. He says, yeah, no problem, no problem. So the guys come in, and we cut the rhythm tracks. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go.
solo section's done. Now I have to woodshed some Peter Frampton. So here's the things I'm thinking about. What kind of a sound am I gonna use? Well, Frampton actually had a bunch of different sounds. He had that phase 90s sound. If you think of Lines in My Face, the solos on that. He had the talkbacks, obviously, Do You Feel Like We Do. He had the Leslie sound that he uses in a lot of solos, especially at the climax of the solos. But he also has that rock tone, like the first solo that happens after the first chorus on Do You Feel Like We Do over a D minor vamp. He's playing through a JMP like this. This is my 71 JMP that I decided to use. I thought that would get the closest sound to that Frampton mid-70s Do You Feel Like We Do sound. And after playing a bunch of Frampton solos, I thought, okay, I think I can come up with something that sounds like what he would have played. Here's my solo. asked me to do an Eddie Van Halen solo and in a what if Eddie Van Halen recorded the solo to Stairway to Heaven. My approach came from, I was thinking 1982-ish, 1981, 1982, after Fair Warning, less phaser, less gain, particularly because he recorded the Beat It solo. In 1981, he just showed up with his Frank and Strat and plugged into a rented Plexi half stack from SIR or something and just did his thing. And that's how I approached it. I didn't want it to sound like a quilt of Eddie Van Halen licks. It had to have a flow and then everything had to make sense like he was playing it and not just, I'm gonna do that lick and that lick and that lick. If you listen closely, you will recognize licks. You'll recognize like, Mm, this is from When Push Comes to Shove, this is from Eruption, this is from Beat It, this is from uh, 1979 Live Eruption, <laughs> stuff like that. So um, the approach was a very simple sound, Eddie sound, a very, you know, a, an echoplex uh, to get the right delay, and that was about it. Um, and I borrowed a Frankenstein from George Tripps at Way Huge. Uh, to actually do the video, so here it goes. <laughs> we have Eric Johnson's solo. One of the reasons I asked Eric to do this is because he has such an unmistakable style. I thought to myself, what's it going to sound like? And then in my brain, I'm thinking these cascading lines, he'll throw in some bass notes, chord forms, things like that, and it'll be really melodic. Here's Eric's solo. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I'd like to thank Eric and Phil for being part of the video. If you'd like to see more videos in this style, reimagining famous guitar solos, let me know what solos you want to see and who you want to see play them. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're a first time viewer, ring the bell. That'll let you know when I go live and when a new video comes out. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. That's very important. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Check out the new Beato Ear Training program at beatoeartraining.com. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.